Check, check, one, two, check, one, two. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode or video. <laughs> welcome to another video of Improved Guitar. Uh, my name is John. If we haven't met, so nice to meet you. Today we are going to just go through how do we play a C chord on the guitar. Um, if you haven't done any chords with me yet, or if you don't know any chords at all yet, um, this might be a tough one to start with. It requires a little bit more finger dexterity and a little bit more stretching of the fingers. Um, so if this is your very first one, I will, uh, very first chord, I'm going to put a video link like right here, right there, and that's going to be where I recommend you starting. That's with the E minor chord. Um, it is probably the easiest chord to get started with just to uh, get everything going. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and if you're here for the C chord and you're committed to learn it, all right, awesome. I want to remind you, before we get started any far further, go ahead and hit pause and tune your guitar up. Um, every time you go to play your guitar, just pick it up, start tuning it, and after that, you can you know, play whatever you want. That'll sound great. Um, so tune your guitar. If you don't know how to do that without a tuner, I have a video here of me walking you step by step through how to get your guitar in tune when you don't have a tuner. If you have a tuner, hit pause and tune up real quick and then start again. So, cool. Sound good? Welcome back. <laughs> What's up, guys? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here is our C chord or C major chord. I'll pop that up right there. Um, and the way I like to get started on these is I like to see how many dots are on this chord chart because that's the easiest way for me to start. And I count one, two, three three dots on uh, this chord. So we're, that means we're going to use three different fingers. Your one finger, your two finger, which is your middle finger, and your three finger, which is your ring finger. <coughs> Excuse me. Break. So our one, two, and three finger is what we're going to use. And then I like to look at the double lines just below the big C up there, the double lines that are going across. That is this nut right here. I'll zoom in there. And above those, on the chord chart, you'll notice there's an X and two O's. So that represents this E string has an X, means we're not playing this lowest string, this one here. We are not playing that string uh, for this chord. And then if we look down to our third string from the bottom, one, two, three, this one here is going to be open as well. And it would sound, where is it? One, two, three, here it is. That one will sound like that. And then our high E string, or the very thinnest string at the bottom here, right there, uh, is going to be open as well. The O stands for open. So that's the basics. So let's go ahead and get started with our first finger. Our first finger is our pointer finger. This one, right here. Um, and if we look on our chart, it's below the double lines, and it's on the before the first line. So the first line represents the first fret. That means that finger is going to be on this first fret, and you count the strings one, two on our second string. Ooh, excuse me. So that's going to be right there, just behind the fret, just like that. And the sound we're going for is like this. Listen here. That is what it will sound like when we're pr playing that note correctly. Um, all right, and now our middle finger, our middle finger here. We'll notice we're going to stretch over to the second fret. One, two, and then we're going to go up. One, two, three, four to the fourth string right there. Try to get it close to that second fret. And that is our sound we're going for. And then we're going to start the stretching process if you're not already feeling it. Um, and our third finger here is going to go one more fret over to the third fret right here all the way up to the fifth string, so way over there for this note, just like this. And our chord should sound, if we got everything just perfect, should sound just like this. C major is a beautiful sounding chord. It's happy, it's full, it's clean. I like this chord. Odds are, okay, odds are, if this is your first time attempting the C chord, yours does not sound like that. So go ahead and take your hand off, shake it out, squeeze, make fists like this kind of, shake out your fingers, 
Um, cause this cord is going to hurt both your fingertips. I mean, all three of your fingertips, but your fingertips as well as just muscle strength, as well as kind of stretching your fingers this way, like this. Um, this is a hard one. We're going across three frets. We're going from almost the bottom, almost to the top. Um, so it's a lot to lot to do. So go ahead and try to grab that again. Give you a second and try to strum that one more time. Beautiful. <laughs> do not be frustrated if yours does not sound like that. If yours sounds like that and it's your very first time playing this chord, then you are awesome. <laughs> I remember how horrible it was learning this chord for myself, so I haven't forgotten the pain that you're putting yourself through right now. Um, I want to encourage you, do not give up. You can do this. Um, perseverance is key. B essentially, don't give up. Keep trying. Keep after it, and, and you can do it. So let's look at this chord a little closer and see and diagnose some of the problems we might be uh, facing as we are trying to play the chord and it's not sounding correct um, so we'll start we'll start with our first finger yeah okay we'll do it that way we'll start with our first finger put that back on the second string on the first fret right there and go ahead and try to just make that sound right just like this <coughs> excuse me and also go ahead and try to play the string below it the high E string right there because that's one of our problems we're going to encounter you might sound it should sound like this a lot of times what it will sound like is this you hear that that is when this first finger is playing a little too flat and that finger is kind of grazing or resting on top of the E string so what we got to do to combat that is make our hand a little more round and to play right on the fingertip there. So round and fingertip. And then go ahead and play uh, the string right above it. And see if we can get all of those sounding good. So that's your G string, your B string, and your E string. So what could also happen if you're playing flat is this first finger can touch the, str the G string above it. And you could get a buzz like that or a muting like that too. All right, so those are kind of the common issues with that. Also, if you're getting a buzz on this string itself, like this, my guess is usually, we'll try to equate that buzz with you're not close enough to the fret. You're way too far back. So when you're close to the fret, that's gonna make it sound cleaner and more than that, it's gonna, you're not going to have to press as hard, so it's not going to hurt your fingers as bad. So just get in the habit of getting right up next to that. Not on top, but right next to it close. It'll sound better and hurt less. Win, win. All right, so our next finger. Let's go ahead and keep our first finger down and our next finger up there on our D string and our second fret. And again, it's the same thing as with this first finger. We want to keep it close to the second fret, not on top, but close to it, just behind it and not close to the first fret, so right there. So this finger should sound like this. And why don't you go ahead and hit the G string below it also and see what that sounds like for you. Could sound like this, hopefully. Hopefully that's what it sounds like. Um, it could sound like this. getting that noise guess what your second finger is hitting that string because you're playing too flat again you gotta get up on the fingertip and round out that hand a little so there's like a little space here and then let and that's what could be happening there so work on those two strings until you get those four strings sounding clean like this that is going when you get it just like that it's time let's move to our third finger and we'll put it up here on our third fret right here the A string so the fifth from the bottom or the second one down from the top and this is one that's going to get tricky for you for multiple reasons so remember we want to be close to this fret what might be happening though is your hand is not stretching that far 
So for now, just do your very best to get it as far over as you can. And over time, you'll be able to kind of creep it over and over to where it really needs to be. But we're trying to get it to sound like this. And also pluck the string below it that your second finger is on because this one can get muted and sound like this also. So go ahead and play both. And play them a couple times so you get them clean. And then another tip that I teach, I think some people teach it, some people don't. So, so this finger, and since we're not playing this E string, is I try to get this finger to rest just a little bit on that E string. So if I accidentally hit it, it'll kind of mute it and it won't ring out. So the whole C will ring out. So it'd be just like this. That, guys, is our C chord. A couple tips and a couple ways to diagnose why yours might not sound just perfect like that. Um, and again, guys, I just want to encourage you, keep practicing this one. This one is tough, um, but you can do it. I promise you. I promise you, you can do this. Um, you might not believe in you, but I believe in you. And that should count for something. Should. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and let me know if this was helpful to you in the comments um, or if you have any questions or if you think I give you terrible advice. You can tell me that too. I'd like to know so I can correct it if I am. I don't think I am. But anyways, go ahead and let me know, and I'll, get my, I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, between now and our next video, guys, just keep practicing that C chord and getting it sounding crisp and clean. We've got some great stuff coming up soon. Um, so keep after it. Keep improving your guitar playing abilities and uh, can't wait to get you playing songs. All right, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. We'll catch you next time. Bye.